This is our A300 model. It has RS232 port to connect the RFID reader here. We have configured this device to connect our server. So now we will connect the RFID reader. Plug the RS232 port. Plug the power cable. We need to use the external power for the RFID reader. Otherwise, the RFID reader will not work. This is our power adapter. It's 12 volt. We connect the cable. Connect the VCC cable to red. And connect the GND cable to black. Now we power on the adapter. RFID reader B price, it means it works normally. We will wait until the device get get GSM signal. The line status indicates it has got the GPS and GSM signal. Now we touch the tag, log in, touch again, log out, touch again, log in, use another tag. This means the second tag log in and the first tag log out. Now we will add the RFID data on our server. This device is online now. We will add the RFID sensor data. We define the name as driver, driver sign, RFID, and save it. This ID number is for the internal record. You can write it or leave it blank. We will add the second tag. Now both driver's information has been added. We will check the RFID log book. Now it's the driver key. Swap the both tag for several times. Then later we will check the RFID lock book. Choose the time range and show. Okay, now we see the data here. The function of RFID reader, iButton, and fingerprint scanner is the same. They are used to check the driver information to know who is driving vibration. Only those authorized drivers can start the engine. More information about the authorization, delete authorization, and Check the authorization status. Please check each accessories manual.